देन वी आर सींग की हमने कल ही बात करी थी एफ डी आई इनफ्लोज इंडिया में कम हो रहे हैं तो दैट इज मेजरली बिकॉज ऑफ टू थिंग्स फर्स्ट पार्डनिंग इंटरेस्ट रेट्स सेकेंड इज द जियो पोलिटिकल रिस्क तो उसकी वजह से लोग इतना ज्यादा अपने पैसे के साथ रिस्क नहीं लेना चाहते वेन इट कम्स टू इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड इट इज नॉट एज इफ आर एफ डी आई पॉलिसीज दैट दे हैव बिकम प्रोटेक्शनिस्ट तो ये रीजन नहीं है कि इसकी वजह से वी आर वी कैन से एफ डी एंड क्लोज कम हो रहे हैं पॉलिसी रिमेन द सेम बट जो एक्सटर्नली चीजें हो रही हैं उसकी वजह से we are seeing ki fdi inflows they are falling and on the contrary we have kept it very very liberal so this is basically coming from the dpiit secretary so hardening interest rates globally and the worsening geopolitical situation had impacted the fdi inflows into india in the previous financial year which is a top government official said and secretary of the department for promotion of industries and internal trade to aapko pata hona chahiye departments ki jab hum baat karte hain kaun si ministry ke andar they fall so he said that the department would analyze the reasons for the contraction in fdi in the five important sectors like computer hardware and software construction एजुकेशन ऑटोमोबाइल्स एंड मेटलॉजिकल इंडस्ट्रीज तो ये फाइव मेन इम्पोर्टेंट सेक्टर्स है एज फार एज दफ कंसर्न तो इवन दे बिकम्स इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर मतलब आपको पता होना चाहिए कि कौन से फाइव मेन इम्पोर्टेंट एरियाज हैं देन एपेटाइट दैट मे बी लेस बिकॉज अगेन जियो पोलिटिकल रिस्क जो है तो उसकी वजह से दिस थिंग इज गेटिंग इम्पैक्टेड कमिंग टू मिन्स न्यूज पेपर सो है यूएस to help india with chip standards manufacturing so move is part of the indo pacific economic framework agreement on supply chain so here usa would be helping india as per as the semiconductor chips is concerned so aapko pata hona chahiye ki chips kahan kahan use ki jati hai kya inki applications hain and it would be helping india in fixing the supply chain gaps that exist because covid 19 ke time pe we came to know ki how dependent we are on the external sector on the external like it's externally on other countries so fir wahan se we started this journey of being more dependent internally dependent and domestic capacity and production ko increase karne pe humne zyada focus karna start kar diya so this move is a part of the indo pacific economic framework agreement on the supply chain which is aimed at cutting the reliance on china and fixing the supply chain gaps so basically move yahi hai ki china ke upar apne dependence kam karke how we can move forward safely then a uh, wto ki baat kare to it needs to be understood that both wto agreements on technical barriers to trade which largely applies to industrial goods and sanitary and phytosanitary measures which applies to food plant and animal health that encourages members to base their regulations on international standards and with this you need to also know about ki aur kya wto ke agreements important agreements ya sare agreements ke bare mein pata hona chahiye so these agreements they also provide for adopting standards stricter than the international standards based on scientific justification jo bahut sare developed countries they have been following that and which becomes another challenge for developing countries kyunki unke liye directly itne higher standards ko follow karna is a great challenge for them and dcgi it orders stringent cough syrup test so cough syrup se jo bhi regarding news thi because of you know toxic element that was present which caused or which led to taking lives of a number of children in other country where the cough syrup it was exported to uske baad se dcgi it has now ordered ki cough syrup ke liye aapko stringent testing karni important rahegi so drug regulator has issued detailed standard operating procedures kya follow karna important ho jayega for the drug makers to smooth in the process of testing the cough syrups after deaths of several children abroad attributed to these syrups so the poor poor quality indian made cough syrups have been linked to deaths of 84 children in gambia and uzbekistan since 2022 so drugs controller general of india is the regulator and it aims to improve the process of testing the cough syrups at the government laboratories so thoda bahut agar aapko composition ke bare mein bhi agar aap find out kar sakte ho ki uh, how cough syrups uh, they are made and jo toxic elements tha that we have already talked about so that is the thing
कमिंग टू फाइनेंशियल एक्सप्रेस सो यहाँ पे तो आरबीआई मूव्स द लाइट पेमेंट सिस्टम सो व्हाट एक्चुअली इज अ लाइट पेमेंट सिस्टम सो वे basically it is regarding the weight so light weight and portable payment system to process the key government and market related transactions so the aim is to keep liquidity pipeline intact via uninterrupted functioning of the essential payment services so jo digital transactions hain the share in the non cash retail payment volumes up to 99.6% in the previous financial from 99.3% so rbi it also calls for structural reforms for medium term growth and rupees 500 notes are most popular heavily counterfeited currency so sebi says that it will step in it will it will step in if म्यूचुअल फंड सेल्फ रेगुलेशन दैट रिमेन्स वीक तो म्यूचुअल फंड सेक्टर जो है अभी तक लाइक इट इज नॉट सो हैवी रेगुलेटेड बाय सेबी बट राइट नाउ दे आर लाइक फॉलोइंग द सेल्फ रेगुलेशन सिस्टम बट अगर सेबी को ये लगेगा दैट सिस्टम इज वेरी वीक तो इट विल डेफिनेटली स्टेप इन टू टेक द एडिक्वेट स्टेप दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड इन ऑर्डर टू सेव गार्ड द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द इन्वेस्टर्स so this we have seen that rb is talking about structural reforms so kya structural reforms ho sakte hain so like uh, government uh, it is based on the government's continued thrust yeah emphasis on capital expenditure higher capacity utilization in manufacturing double digit credit growth preceding the drag on purchasing power from the high inflation and rising optimism among the businesses and consumers so ग्लोबल आउटलुक की वजह से बिकॉज ऑफ द ग्लोबल चैलेंजेस डोमेस्टिक इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी दैट इज ऑल्सो फेसिंग चैलेंजेस सो इट फोरकास्ट कम्स ऑन द बैक ऑफ सॉफ्ट ग्लोबल कमोडिटी एंड फूड प्राइजेस गुड रावी क्रॉप प्रोस्पेक्ट एंड सस्टेन बैंस इन दॉन्टैक्ट इंटेंसिव सर्विसेज सो अगेन जब हम गवर्नमेंट बोरोइंग की भी बात करते तो चैलेंजेस फॉर द गवर्नमेंट बोरोइंग टू स्टे इन फाइनेंशियल ईयर करंट फाइनेंशियल ईयर एज पर आर बी आई सो यूनियन बजट Uh, 2023-24 में द ग्रॉस मार्केट बोरोइंग थ्रू द डेटेड सिक्योरिटीज इज बजटेड एट 15.43 ट्रिलियन रुपीस एज कंपेयर्ड विद 14.21 ट्रिलियन रुपीस सो नेट मार्केट बोरोइंग दैट इज इंक्लूडिंग द ट्रेजरी बिल्स इज बजटेड एट रुपीस 12 ट्रिलियन फाइनेंसिंग 68 परसेंट ऑफ ग्रॉस फिजिकल डेफिसिट तो नुमालीगढ़ रिफाइनरी के बारे में आपको पता होना चाहिए वेर इट इज लोकेटेड देन एफ डी एंड तो वाइट इज फॉलोइंग ये हम ऑलरेडी देख चुके हैं डी पी आई आई टी सेक्रेटरी सेज की इट इज नॉट एज एफ आर एफ डी पॉलिसी इज देव बिकम प्रोटेक्शन सीन सो ही साइट्स की देर इज फॉल इन इन्वेस्टर एपेटाइट एज अ रीजन फॉर द डिक्लाइन लास्ट ईयर coming to indian express newspaper so kal wrestlers ka we saw okay they were they reached haridwar to you know immerse their medals that they won so global olympics body steps in and they say that it is very disturbing and calls for protection of the athletes so global olympics body it steps in so that's a very big step so ioc it flags may 28 events jo bhi hue calls for unbiased probe in all the incidences so world wrestling body threatens to suspend india the indian federation of wrestling federation of india so world wrestling body is saying this thing so definitely things they are now going global and after haridwar hurdle wrestlers they rethink move to drop the medals in ganga so like the medals they were not immersed they came back and they have been like sought some time from them by the political bodies and by the farmers 
So let's see what is going to be the final decision moving forward. We have talked about the state of Manipur. Then So, Uttarakhand ki agar baat kare, a treasure trove of natural goodness. So, hair millets, they are very important topic this year. So, uh, like there, uh, we are celebrating this year to be the international year of millets. So, small millets, they were a major constituent of Uttarakhand. High nutritional composition of these grains, they are now coming to light the world over. And millets, they have tremendous capacity to grow in the dry, rocky lands and also have high straw index, which is beneficial for the livestock also. Then, black soybean are different varieties, they have been mentioned. And apart from that, handicrafts ki baat kare to, uh, there is like, they have signed, uh, like tied up with the e-commerce site Amazon in which handicraft products worth lakhs of rupees, they have already been sold. So, apart from this, uh, Himadari Emporium that is in Dehradun. Then bamboo and needle products are also made from the state of Uttarakhand. And, you can see the pictures. Bamboo bottle is being made. And 60% needle in weft and 40% cotton in warp color has been used in making this jacket. Then there is Doom's finest silk variety. So Doom Silk it is a brand of Uttarakhand Cooperative Silk Federation, which has become a driving force to revive the traditional silk weaving of Uttarakhand. So Doom Silk it is a famous variety. So all these topics we have already discussed. So we'll not. Talk about it. Then there was a question regarding Switzerland in this year's prelims. So Switzerland and India share commitment, vision for peace in troubling times. So you need to know that both the countries, kon -kon se area, apne respective areas, mein, they dominate. So wo pata hona important tha in order to get to the right answer. But here we are more uh, like concerned about the bilateral relations. So can just go through it once. So recession fears diamond workers they seek financial package from the Gujarat government. So we have a lot time pehle baat kari thi about the diamond workers. So amid signs of an impending recession-like situation, the Gujarat Diamond Workers Union they have approached the Gujarat Labor and Employment Minister seeking vacation salary and skill upgradation for the sector as was announced in 2008 during the global recession. So due to the recession, many diamond polishers, they have become jobless. That has led to suicides among the diamond workers and state government should plan to help these workers through a financial package. So you know that when we talk about diamond exports, what is the value of India, what is the importance of diamond mines, how do they make it? All of us know that it is important. In the explained section, pe we are having this topic of curbing the airplane emissions. So France, it is banned. The short haul flights and Amsterdam airport that is banned the private jets. And how helpful are such measures in tackling the climate change is a question. Why is a significant crackdown on aviation emissions? Why is that difficult? So you can just go through it. Here, International Civil Aviation Organization ki baat ki gai hai, where it is located, kya functions hai. Iske alawa, French ban yaha pe uski case study hai. So deficiency of flavanol, what is that which is found in fruits? It drives the memory loss. So diet low in flavanols, which is the nutrients they are found in certain fruits and vegetables. It is responsible for driving memory loss that comes with aging. So 
having adequate amount of intake of flavanol is very important and food that contain flavanol includes grapes kale blueberries strawberries peaches broccoli and tomatoes so these are some of the food items which contains which are rich in flavanols then president in the government contracts so what does the supreme court has to say on article 299 so this is an important topic so government when it is entering into a contract in the name of the president it cannot claim immunity from the legal provisions of that contract under article 299 because the actual decision liya jata hai that is taken by the council of ministers and not the president president is just the nominal head president ka jo naam use kiya jata hai but ultimately it is the com which is responsible for taking the decisions so president ke paas koi discretionary power nahi in this sense so a bench led by chief justice of india said that after considering the purpose and the object of article 299 it is of the clear opinion that a contract entered into the name of the president of india cannot and will not create any an immunity against the application of any statutory prescription imposing conditions on parties to an agreement jab government it chooses to enter into a contract so article 299 kis bare mein baat kare provides ki all the contracts which are made in the exercise of the executive power of the union or of a state also it shall be expressed to be made by the president or by the governor of the state respectively and that all such contracts jo bhi kiye jate hain the decisions liye jate hain jo assurances of the property made in the exercise of that power shall be executed on behalf of the president or the governor as directed and authorized by them but article 299 clause 2 ye bhi bol raha hai ki while the government can enter into the contracts in the name of president and the governor neither of them shall be personally liable for the same obviously kyunki wo personal discretion mein decision nahi le rahe hain so phrases the phrases expressed to be made and executed in article 299 clause 1 mean ki there must be a written deed or written contract hona chahiye that should be executed by a person authorized by the president or the governor so it needs to be written it it needs to be in written format so supreme court it has ruled ki objective behind jo article 299 hai it is that there must be a procedure for making contracts by agents acting on the government's behalf so that jo public funds hai they are not misutilized so thus contracts that do not adhere to the manner jo article 299 mein diya gaya hai it cannot be enforced at the instance of any contracting party and then we also know about seven schedule it includes the relationships where the arbiter is an employee consultant advisor or has any other past or present business relationship with the party and like we know ki jo main generally seven schedule ki hum baat karte hain so that is talking about the three list the union list state list and the concurrent list but it is also including the relationships jahan pe arbiter is an employee consultant hai advisor hai or has any other past or present business relationship with a party so court ne clarify kiya ki article 299 it only lays down the formality that is necessary to bind the government with contractual liability and not the substantial law relating to the contractual ability of the government which is to be found in the general laws of the land so a contract may be valid under article 299 it may nevertheless fail to bind the government if it is void or unenforceable under the law so that is what the supreme court has to say so what is focal's pendulum here hum already dekh chuke hain it has been installed in the new parliamentary building you can just go through it once if you skipped that video and this is the picture a focal's pendulum at the parliament building is 22 meters high so that's all for today thank you so much for joining us do subscribe to the channel and also hit the like button for this video